Now, another example here, we do a at once ACL. Remember that the basic ACL is 2000 to 2999. At once ACL is 3000 to 3999. Again, we also can have a uh, number ACL or we also can have a name ACL. So I already explained this earlier on, so should have no problem. We look into this, um, another example here. All right, so configure a rules for at once ACL. You can configure and at once ACL rules according to the protocol type of an IP uh, packets. The parameter vary according to the protocol. When the protocol IP uh, type is an IP, the command format is as below here. So we have to put the rules. Then we have the action of permit or deny. Okay, so it's important. Then you also have to put in uh, the uh, destination or the source. Okay, because for the protocol, you always have the source or the destination. Then you also have the option to put in the time range, the QoS, which is the SCP, or type of service or precedent. All these are the QoS value. So in an advanced ACL view, you can run this command and configure a rules for the advanced ACL. So when the protocol is a TCP, remember this is a TCP, this is an IP. So if it's a TCP, then you have to put a keyword of a TCP here. If let's say this is an IP, you put a keyword of IP, the rest is the same. Now because of the TCP, then you also have the option to tell them that what is the source port, okay, or even the destination port, okay. And you also notice that because the port can have equal, greater, uh, it, range, okay, or any here. And you also can specify what is the TCP flag. We learned this on a very early module about the TCP sync act fin, right? You also have an option to use a time range. So in advanced ACL, you can run this command to configure a rules for the advanced ACL. Right, so let's look into another case. Uh, this case, we have two part. So we use advanced ACL to prevent user hosts on different network segments from communicating. Here I have R&D department, which is 10.1.1.0 slash 24. Then I also have marketing department, which is 10.1.2.0 slash 24. I have an internet over here, and I also have um, interfaces. So the two interfaces, which is gate 001 and gate 002. Let's look into the requirement. The first requirement here, the department of a company are connected through the router. To facilitate network management, the administrator allocate IP addresses of different network segments to R&D and marketing department. So I already explained here, we have 1.0 and 2.0. The company required that the router prevent the user host on different network segments from communicating to ensure information security. So they do not allow 10.1.1.0 communicating to 10.1.2.0. So here are the steps. So there are two parts of it. First here, we configure IP address and the route on the router. So this part, we assume that it's already there. And the second step here, we create ACL 3001. Remember, 3001 is an advanced ACL. And configure rules for the ACL to deny packet from R&D department to the marketing department. So here we can look into configuration. First, we configure ACL 3001. Then you press enter, you will go into the uh, advanced 3001. So we know that this is a advanced ACL. Then we use a command called rules deny IP source 10.1.1.0.0.0.0.255. Here, we know that this is the source. If the source is 10.1.1.0 with a wildcard of 0.0.0.255, which is the entire subnet of 10.1.1.0, which is if the source is 10.1.1.0, and if you want to go to the destination to 10.1.2.0 with a wildcard of 0.0.0.255, you notice that the uh, action is a deny. Okay, so which means that if I am going from uh, R&D 
Okay, so it should be from R&D to marketing department. I will not allow you to pass through. Okay, so this is the first um, uh, ACL. Now the second ACL, we are using ACL 3002. So we configure the same thing, except that this time we are using 3002. And again, you can see that the source now is 10120. So 10120 is here. And the destination is 10110, which is here. And again, you are denying. So now I have two rules. Rules 3001, deny R&D to marketing. Rules ACL 3002, deny marketing to go to R&D. So both of them uh, will be denied to go to each other subnet. Now, second part of the ACL we are going to look into is we are going to apply to the interface and we are going to apply the direction. Let's have a look. So as you can see here on the step number four, this is the final step. We are going to apply first is the interface. The interface of gig 001, which is this part here. So on the gig 001, we are going to look into this. This is very important, inbound. Traffic filter inbound ACL 3001. So when the traffic is going into the router, okay, I'm going to do a filter. Remember that 3001 filter action is denied. Then we go into gig 002. The same thing happened here is a traffic filter inbound ACL 3002. So which means that if the traffic is going into 002, again, it will be filter. Right, so these are the configuration. You can lap it out in the ENSB and try it on your own. And uh, for you to really understand the ACL, you need to do practice. You know, you can actually try the inbound, outbound, and you can try the name ACL, uh, number ACL, and uh, you may be able to see the difference. All right, so uh, as a summary for this topic, uh, ACL is widely used networking technology. Now, what you can see here is ACL is really important. It's used in many of uh, our routing and the switching. So learn it very well. Uh, its principle is as follows. Packet are matched against configured ACL and action are taken to packet as configured in ACL, which is permit or deny. The matching rules and action are configured based on the network requirement. So remember the uh, wildcard, right? And remember the inbound and outbound. Due to variety of matching rules and action, ACL can implement a lot of function, which is I totally agree. So learn ACL very well. So ACL apply to uh, other vendors uh, as well. So the rules, uh, once you learn from Huawei, it apply to all other vendors. So ACL are often used with other technologies such as firewall, routing policy, QoS, and traffic filtering. Okay, so that's the end for this ACL topic, and I will see you on next module. Thank you.